This looks like the most torturous thing, okay? I can't believe I'm saying this, but Courtney's here. And, uh, listen, this couldn't have come at a better time because this is what is going to give us the power. I have the power. Nothing like eating an entire bag of treats while you're waiting to see the dentist. That's so counterproductive, Rita. So counterproductive. My storm okay has a little bitty baby teeth. <laughs> little baby teeth. Come on. You're gonna be a big girl now. Oh, Jamie, you're definitely gonna make that into a necklace, right? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh. Good morning. It is not even truly light out yet. Like the sun has not risen, but I'm up and I know a few other people that are up. Hey, Fifi, good morning, baby. Fiona's like, I've been working all night, mom, I'm up. Okay. Today is a very big day and there are some people over to help us with our horses. I'm having a little bit of nervousness and anxiety. Oh, hey, Nikki Bella. Today is horse dentist day. I am going to need a ponytail because I'm actually like a little bit nervous, a little bit like a little bit worked up over this. We got to get everybody in stalls. I have to get power out to the barn. That's correct. And I did something a little bit dumb last night. So I did not pick up the brand new extension cords that I ordered at the sanctuary to be able to run power from the garage to the barn. So we're going to have a plan B. Are you ready for what plan B is? Let me show you. The Vitoman? Vitoman. Vito man. Vito man. The Vito man. The super safe power station. Listen, this couldn't have come at a better time because this is what is going to give us the power. I have the power. Uh, hopefully to run the dentist drill. And uh, I haven't figured out what's going to fix my anxiety yet. But uh, at the very least, we should have power. How do I test if I have power? I'm not sure yet. Um, jumper cable, something else. Let's hope that Lester did this right. Do not put fingers or hands into product. Great. Excellent. Well, to hear he did that right. I don't need to recharge my car. Product on off. Short press any button on power on the product and enter on standby LCD screen will come up. Looks like we're ready to go. Only need a shorty. Let's load this bad boy in the mini truck. Okay, everybody's awake and ready. And I got the mini truck loaded. Yeah, uh, this is a pretty serious day. So horses should see a dentist, I believe once a year. And it's been about a year and a half since Voodoo and Bucky's have. And I don't know if Storm ever has seen a dentist or Rita. So I'm a little bit anxious about these two being in heat and being a little bit spicy we'll call it spicy that's right i said it storm i said it she's like what what um these two are just good to go you know roll with it whatever but i know that these two also need need the most work they're older and what happens with horse teeth and i'm sure that the dentist is going to tell us all of this hey white kitty is that their teeth grow um almost like spurs like bone spurs kind of and it affects the way that they chew and they can choke and sadly they can even die um so it's super important to have it done we had a very hard time finding a new equine dentist to be able to come to us at no matter what property uh ours uh left the country so we've been up a creek and fortunately we finally finally found one 
uh, and I'm excited to meet her for the first time today. She does come to us via referral, uh, and that is from Twisted Tear. Oh my gosh. That's not a cat wagon. That's not meant for you. It's not. Uh, we're really blessed today. It's about 65 degrees uh, and cool. So the sun is not like coming up yet. So I assume that there's a pretty big cloud cover today, which is fine. Uh, every day can't be rainbows and sunshines. Um, but for now, they should be here just about any minute. And I am I am nervous. I'm nervous about how my horses are gonna behave. I'm nervous about what the work they have to have done because <sighs> Dixie previously had to have teeth pulled. That was really hard on her. And um, I don't know. I've had dental work my whole life and with my recent major dental work, I'm not so good at being so calm about this. The horses are like, mom, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. If y'all say so. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Courtney's here. And, uh, we have a full blown girl gang going on here. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is Dr. Rogers and this is Lindsay. Is that right? Did I get it right? Lacey, Lacey. Lacey dang it. Okay. Redo. This is Dr. Rogers and this is Lacey and y'all know Courtney. The gang is all here. I just hooked it all the way to the garage to get a ladder and I come out here and Courtney is halfway up the dang stalls. Uh, we need to go like over, over there. Over, over there? Yeah, like, All right, then the ladder. Over, over there, gonna need the ladder. Okay, <laughs> round two, going up the ladder here. <laughs> Safety first. What I really love is that this sophisticated hoist here is completely uh, held up by hay string, the most universal farm tool on the face of this earth. Last night, I learned that Lester's dad fixed a prolapsed mom cow with hay string. I swear to you, I had no idea. Lacey says that the hay string is actually the most the most elite of tools that they have. <laughs> and it's not to hold the chain up. It actually it's is. It's a guide. Yes, it is a guide in case there's a tiny little hole. Well, good yeah. news for us is we got wide open spaces here. All right, so on the left, we have Voodoo and we've decided we are going to make our way left to right. So I'm headed out. I said your name. I said your name. Uh-huh. Firsties, buddy. So sorry. <sighs> this looks like the most torturous thing, okay? Voodoo has been given sedation. Margarita. And we, they call it a margarita. But it makes him a little weak in the knees. And right now, Dr. Rogers is in there, and she's filing down his teeth on the sides. She said that his teeth look great outside of just being sharp. So that's a really good thing for Voodoo. She said that his teeth look younger than he is. So that's that's really awesome for him. My poor baby. This is hard for this mom to watch. So what's really awesome is we are doing all of this dentistry work off of the Vitamin Power. It tells you how much percentage is left. It tells you how many watts are being used at that time. It's, it's really amazing and it's working out very well. Are you ready to be next, sir? I think you might be next. Just because your buddy needs you. Yeah, he does. Rita found the entire treat bag in the back of the mini truck out here. So that's super fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My poor baby. Voodoo. <laughs> That's too many drinks, buddy. You've been overserved. <laughs> no all good. All right about there. <laughs> but he's all done, and now he gets to. Oh, he's gonna have his front done, and then oh, he's all done. His front teeth. <laughs> My poor baby. Rita is so curious right now. Yes, I know. She's so worried about what her little friend is going through here. Storm two. The funniest part is that they're playing this game. We have the gates closed to the stalls to where nobody can make their way into the actual barn. Now they can come in over here to these open stalls 
and every one of them just keep trying to get to voodoo. They want to help him. I know. I know, Bubba. My sweet boy is a little loopy. Watch out for the lip. Sorry. Oh, you down. I didn't need that. Oh. We're going to be moving him to the next stall for him to recuperate the rest of the way. Come on, Boo. Come on. Good boy. Yeah, so, I would definitely say classic 17, 18 year old for sure. So, this is the first time that we've actually had someone be able to tell us as close as possible of how old Bucky's is. So, Bucky's was a, a rescue from a rescue, and he's just lived with us, and, and we've known he's a gelding male and, and had years on him, but we had no idea yeah, until today so that we think he's between 16 and 18 years old ish. Yeah. Oh, so, and that's based on so many intricate details of his teeth. Okay. My poor baby's all done. Excuse me, ma'am. His teeth were super short, sharp. His teeth were super sharp. And uh, he's going to feel so, so much better after this. Oh, my Storm is up next. Now, Storm is pretty gentle, but she's very, she spooked a little easy. So, hoping that she does well here for Dr. Rogers. My Storm has a little bitty baby teeth. Aww. You're going to be a big girl now. Oh, Jamie, you're definitely going to make that into a necklace, right? Uh, no. <laughs> We won't be, uh, we won't be keeping Storm's baby teeth. So Voodoo is coming out of it a little bit. He's got a little bit of sweats going on. And we're told that's normal. Yeah, I just watched him drink some water. He'll be okay. He did not have to have any teeth pulled. Just had to have them trimmed down on the sides. I learned a thing or two because Bucky's also, he just got done. So he's, he's still pretty heavy into the sedation that the older they get, the slower their teeth grow. So the younger horses actually have to have their teeth worked on more often than the older ones. Oh, you don't, what do you think about that? <laughs> you don't like that idea? Rita's nervous. Rita's going to be last. Storm's in here, and I actually got the opportunity to stick my hand in her mouth and feel how sharp the teeth were. And what that does is it hinders them from being able to chew their food. Sometimes grain will fall out, hay will fall out, they can choke. So dental work is super important. Well, y'all, the dentist is done. Let me wrap things up for you here and show you what is what. The mini truck has made its way back into the shop and is plugged in and charging as is oh there's a kitty that came out of there my vitamin flash speed 1000 so this made it through an entire horse work of dentist work and that includes a drill a water pump a headlight like a significant amount of work was able to be done with this amazing battery charging bank power bank okay let's talk about the horses now so this is a proud horse mom moment here nobody had any bad teeth that had to be pulled that is right i know what you're saying you're like wait a minute we saw storm have some some teeth being pulled out so one of them was loose and the other two baby teeth were just ready and that way we won't have any any hang-ups, hi, sweet girl. Were you into pond? Were you into pond a little bit? My Rita here actually not did not end up having her teeth floated. Nothing was sharp, and she's so young that we decided to go ahead and wait this round. Um, what was really revealing is the true age of everyone has come out. So storm is four. Rita is just barely two. Voodoo we know because he has papers. He is 18 years old, but, but our Bucky's got truly aged to be between 17 and 18 years old. To me, that explains their connection 
their I know age doesn't necessarily matter when it comes to their leadership but I think that it matters here because they toggle back and forth between who's head horse you're not in charge my baby you're not in charge I'm sorry I know you want to be but you're not you're muddy you're so muddy but then I learned a ton in what everybody is needing as far as long-term care and was just really pleased to this sounds weird to stick my hand in their mouth and feel what they're going through and to know that today is a much better day right want to show them your two fees no you don't want to she's like i don't want to show them i don't want to show them i had enough of your hand already in there you can't eat my you cannot eat my dress baby everybody was well behaved Everyone, everyone is good. So, checking that box of we got our dental work done and uh, we are definitely ready for summer now. All right. I love y'all. Oh, you sassy little girl. Oh my God, Rita.